Hi Vince, my name is Megan and I am the founder of Lobo Leads Marketing and I spoke with Logan recently at your office about doing a quick website audit for you guys to show you where Veteran Electric is ranking currently and what your competitors are doing to claim the top spots on Google. And um, he let me know to go ahead and send it to this email um, and put attention to you. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you some quick website tips. We're going to go over some uh, specifics on how to rank your site and how to beat your competition online. So if you have any questions for me after watching the video, I'll have all my contact info for you. Um, and the three things we're going to go over today are content, backlinks, and citations. So content is anything on the homepage of your site that Google can read. So all the text on the homepage, all the text within your images, and whatever your images are saved as. Now, to be considered authority in Google's eyes, you're going to want to have at least 1,500 to 2,000 words on your homepage. And you're going to want it to be stuffed with content that has to do with buyer intent. So for you specifically, you'd be looking at things like um, electrician, spring Texas, or electrician, Houston, Texas, um, and just any of the areas that you serve around, um, you know, in the service areas that you serve, you'll want to have keywords um, to go along with that with electrician. So um, that way, when anybody in any of those areas types in, you know, electrician near me or types in electrician Houston, um, your website will pop right up. So looking at your website, I really like how clean and professional it is. It's very easy to navigate. You guys have obviously spent a lot of time on it. Um, so the main thing that I would say as far as content goes here on the home page is um, you'll want to have at least the 1500 words like I mentioned before. Now it's great that you have testimonials down here because that always really helps to build you know, trust with your prospective clients, um, anybody who's on the fence, you know, a lot of times they read testimonials to, in order to get that, you know, give them that extra push to give you guys a call and hire you guys for the job. So it's really great that you have those here. The only thing is, is this doesn't count towards content on your homepage. Um, but I went ahead and I highlighted all your text that does count as content and put it into a word counter. And it looks like you guys have a little over 1,000 words here on the homepage. So what you'll wanna do is add at least 500 more words and you'll wanna make sure that all the content has uh, you know, keyword phrases organically spread throughout. So our rule of thumb that we tell our clients is one keyword phrase for every 100 to 150 words that that you have on the page. And so uh, if you guys were to get to the 1500 mark, you'd want to have anywhere from 10 to 12, you know, keyword phrases spread throughout. Um, so that's the first thing. The other thing is I saw that you have a services tab up here, which is great. Um, now, what I would recommend is to make this services menu an, a non-clickable menu option where you have a drop down menu with you know residential and commercial services and then you have all of those pages listed underneath that are your major things that people call you guys for so um for example you'd have you know electrical troubleshooting and then some if that was what the person was looking for they could click easily click on that page get more information about electrical troubleshooting and then um, that way whenever it, it makes it a lot easier for those services to rank individually when you have individual pages for it so for example if someone were to type in you know electrical troubleshooting Houston then you know your your back page right here would pop up and they could easily click on it and get to your website uh, I see that I think you guys were maybe looking at doing something like this because when I click on the arrows, at least these, um, it doesn't lead anywhere, but it looks like it was uh, that you guys were maybe building it or someone's working on it for it to lead somewhere to a different page, um, which internal linking is always great too within your site. So that is my recommendation. If you guys were to go ahead and do these as individual pages, you'd want to have at least 500 words of content on each of them. And then um, anywhere from three to four keyword phrases within that content um, would be good. So same rule of thumb as we used for content on the homepage. And uh, 
I really like that you guys have a blog. Just had to say that because blogs are always really helpful. Um, you can put good information in there and um, hopefully have keyword rich and location specific keywords within that. So um, overall, I really like your site. Those are just some quick tips for you. The next thing I wanna to talk to you about today is backlinks. So the thing with Google is it can kind of be like a popularity contest in a way uh, because they judge you by how many websites are pointing back at you. Now, very important to remember, not all backlinks are created equal. So what that means is you're gonna gain a lot more influence from a backlink that is related to your industry. So for example, an electrician blog that mentions your company would be a good one for you or a popular website that features various types of home services and features electrical services, that would be another good one for you. Something that has to do with the services you offer, you're gonna have much more influence given to you from that kind of backlink versus a backlink from, let's say, your local Domino's Pizza, for example. So a tool I use to measure backlinks is called Arifs, and I went ahead and put your site in up here. It looks like you guys have 425 backlinks from 127 different websites that are pointing back at you and you have 201 for your organic traffic. So what that means is you have about 201 website visits within the last 30 days that uh, people that are coming into your site. So that is good. Um, the more the better, of course. So um, I also put in one of your top competitors in the area. So um, this is just for spring. Let me go ahead and put in uh, Abacus Plumbing. Let's search their actual site to see how many website visits they have coming in. So um, what we wanna do here is go ahead and put in the domain. Yeah, so when you don't search, this, this is their whole site. <laughs> uh, when you don't search the location specifically, obviously they have a ton of organic traffic coming in. Um, and the reason why originally they only have you know 36 website visits for spring texas but yet they're ranking above you guys is because they have higher quality backlinks uh, from more powerful sites that are pointing back at them so that is how they're ranking higher than you guys so a strategy that we tell our clients to use to get the same kind of influence and power as their competitors is to go in and get the same backlinks as their competitors have and then um, you know just keep adding on more and more backlinks so what will end up happening is you'll match their backlinks and then you'll end up surpassing them while gaining more power to your site getting all of that organic traffic and then new customers of course will go along with that um, the last thing I want to show you today is citations. So citations are very important because if someone wants a service now, uh, most likely what they're going to do is they're going to go to Google and they're going to Google it. So let's say someone's looking for an electrician in Spring, Texas, they'll Google this and they'll see these top three businesses pop up. So now here you guys are in the local Google My Business map pack. As you know, I'm sure you get a lot of website visits from this and a lot of um, customers. So what you'll want to do is in order to rank above Mr. Sparky is just keep on adding those citations, list yourself in the exact same directories that Mr. Sparky is listed in, and then just keep adding on more and more. So what will happen is you'll end up ranking at the top by adding on more citations, and then you'll be adding on more backlinks as well at the same time, and you'll be taking on all of that new business. So um, believe it or not, between the number one and the number two spot, you do get a lot more calls when you're in the number one spot versus number two. So even though this is a really good position for you guys to be in, moving up to number one and figuring out exactly what directories Mr. Sparky is listed in, uh, that would be a really good move for you guys in order to gain more customers. So here is my website. This is my company, Lobo Leads, and this is my phone number. And if you have any questions at all after watching, like I said before, please feel free to give me a call or email me back. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback, and I hope this was helpful. Thanks.